Trey Scorner was made while walking in Scorner. I took along a camera and photographed just what I felt like photographing. On social media, I called the series Walking. But finally, it made more sense to give the book the title Trace. I thought of tracks and I thought of tracing on a map. But I also thought about the remains, the traces that are left behind and the traces in your memory. The process of selecting for the book was a long one. I made small prints and they were on the table and off the table in our living room for months, usually for a week at a time. I like walking along the coastline in the woods, but also in places that are often considered uninteresting or even ignored. Places people don't normally walk for a recreation. These are often places where human activity was once profound, but today these places are often deserted and left alone until such time that someone decides to build a house there. In the book there are a number of images of floods in Clarksham after the local council had shut off the pumps, the chalk pit gradually filled and ran over filling the basements and neighbouring houses and the woods round about. In Falstable, it was the sea and the storms filling the meadows, as they periodically done for many centuries. The walks were made in all four seasons, and so the photographs reflect that. But in December 2013, there was a storm that hit Sweden called Sven. There was a lot of wood left laying around, but fortunately farmers know what to do with that. I started photographing as a kid when we, when I went on fishing trips with friends. Um, we would photograph ourselves, the fish we caught, they will be let back into the water again and the places where we went to. In the book I write a short text about walking down at Sandhammer. But this piece there I'd like to read. Fishing was our escape from central London out into nature and suburban countryside. Although we never thought of it like that back then, we almost always had to take trains from Clapham Junction to get to a river, arriving around daybreak at the other end of the line at Weybridge, Staines, Kingston or Box Hill. We were most often walked to the river. Once at the river we continued walking, sometimes a kilometre or more along the river bank, to our favourite swims, arriving excited and impatient to tackle up. We would fish all day until the light made it hard to see. Fishing gave us knowledge and an understanding of nature and ecology. We learned without even knowing we were being taught. We learned to notice the subtle passage of the season and the changes in the weather and the light by being there quietly on the riverbank. <laughs>